Okay, now it's time to create our URL class. Inside of the classes folder, let's create a new file and call it URL.php. Inside of this file, we start with the opening PHP tag and then we type class URL opening and closing curly brace. Now we start with the first uh, parameter, public. This time is going to be a static one. I'll explain what static does in just a second. Uh, the name of the parameter will be underscore page and the value will be simply page. This is, to, this is going to be our key uh, keyword for identifying what page should be loaded through the URL. Next one will be public static folder equals and if we open our inc file, open our config.php, you may remember that we've created already the constant which stores the name of the pages folder. So if we copy the name of the constant and assign this uh, constant to our uh, static uh, parameter called underscore folder. Another one, public static underscore params. And this is going to be a, an empty array for the time being. Okay, now static. What static allows us to do is to access specific elements within the class directly without instantiating a class. How it works, if we look at the, our index.php function, you can see that we first created the variable and assigned the instance of, a, of the new class called core. Then to run the method inside of this class, we use, the, use this instance uh, and we call this uh, method this way. Now with the static parameters and methods, you can do it in the following way. Using the name of the class, which is URL in this case, two columns, and then name of the parameter, pub, it has to be obviously public parameter, all name of the method. So if we call this first one uh, static page, for instance, if we go back to our index.php, only one thing to remember is that with the static parameters, you have to use dollar sign uh, as, oppo as, as, as opposite to, to the ones we've been creating with the, with the standard uh, instantiated classes. So uh, page, there we go. If we echo this, uh, this parameter, we go back to our browser, refresh, you can see the page has been displayed here. If you go back, uh, now let's remove this. Obviously, as, as, as I said, it works exactly the same if, you, if we create static uh, methods. So if we create public static method, uh, which is function, obviously, uh, get param. And if we simply echo one of the static parameters within this uh, method, let's say return uh, self, the keyword self is used for static parameters. For uh, standard parameters, we use this and our arrow. For static ones, as I said, we're using uh, self and two columns. And then again, dollar sign page. If we use this method now inside of the index page, we're obviously echoing this as well. If we go back, the result is still the same. So this is the difference between uh, inst classes which need instantiation and the static classes as classes sorry static methods and parameters inside of the classes so if you remove this we remove this return self page let's move to the next video where we actually build in uh, our get param uh, method inside of the url class